And good afternoon. Uh, you know, in Las Cruces, we have been lucky. We have, we have a tradition and a legacy in football that we've had for many, many years. One of the large rivalries are between these two schools. And last Friday night, uh, we had one of those rivalry game, games that went on. And for 48 minutes, we had good football. And for 35 seconds, we had some very poor decisions made by some athletes, young men who competed in that particular game. Over 20,000 people got a chance to see that. Unfortunately, most of them also got to see the rest. So as the clock, uh, as the clock ran out, um, we have some young men who made some bad decisions. Now for the last four days, I've poured over all of the photos, tapes, and those kinds of things that would be available to review this matter. Because what's important is that we understand what happened and that we deal with those mistakes those young men made. Now I want to commend our coaching staffs for their efforts that night. As I reviewed the tapes with Mr. Viramontes, uh, we see coaches doing their job. We see coaches taking control of the situation, and we see coaches being highly professional in their demeanor and their actions. And I think, as we always are, we can be very proud of those staffs and the work they do. I also want to congratulate many of our athletes for their good acts. There were many, many athletes that were not involved in the things that happened, but rather involved in trying to stop the things that happened. We have athletes who uh, really did compete with class. And I want to commend them on that effort. And the next day, we had a game between the same two teams at the junior varsity level. And at that game, one of the things that we've been able to ascertain is that even some of the individuals involved in the actions that we don't support were at that game and were conducting themselves properly. You see, clearly we're dealing with young men, young athletes who have a lot of emotion. But along with that comes responsibility. You know, sometimes the best lessons learned are those that are learned the hard way. And for a handful of athletes, uh, that has consequence. Because lack of good sportsmanship and lack of leadership leads to sanction. Now, we used a standard as we looked at the sanctions that we might apply. And what we did, and I've met with both coaches and both administrations as late as this morning as we went through these actions. And we applied a standard that is a New Mexico Activities Association standard uh, as far as what kind of disciplinary outcomes might come from actions. <clears throat> now, what we did do by reviewing uh, the tapes and photos is we developed a list of who was involved and what their actions were. And not on trial today are those findings because they are facts. We hold our athletes to high standards. We expect them to live up to those expectations and set the example for each other and for their school all of the time, but especially while they're on the field, whether the clock is running or not. We have a total of nine players who will be disciplined uh, in this particular matter. They will be suspended from playing in their next game. They will not travel with the team. And they will not be on the sidelines at the next game. This is consistent with NMAA rules, which had this event occurred while the clock was running, would have been the sanctions that would have been set aside on these players by the officials. We've conveyed our findings to the New Mexico Activities Association. Uh, Mr. Viramontes and myself have met with NMAA folks by telephone uh, about a half a dozen times since Friday night as we've worked with the association of which I'm a member of the executive committee. And we've, we've worked through the solution sets we have for this matter with them and they support the actions of this district and of these administrations behind me. So I'm going to ask each of our coaches to step up and make a statement 
and indicate to you the number of students on each of the teams that will be suspended. And once we've completed that, I will ask um, for any questions that you might have of me or of our coaching staff. So without further ado, let me refer to Coach Jim Miller from Las Cruces High School. Well, unfortunately, uh, like Mr. Rounds was saying, uh, you know, a great game, uh, 48 minutes, one-point game. And, uh, and at the end of the game, it's, uh, it's marred uh, by, by an argument, by, by a fight. Uh, you know, you go through and you look at uh, evidence, you look at things of that nature, and unfortunately, uh, you know, I'll take full responsibility for my football team. You know, I'm the head coach. Uh, you know, we can't do anything about it now. Uh, it's over with, but we can learn from it. As I will from a head coaching standpoint, uh, you know, I need to do a better job making sure that stuff doesn't happen. Uh, it's an intense rivalry. Uh, everybody knows that. Um, uh, tempers flare. Things happen. Um, but uh, that being said, uh, that's no excuse. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, we, we have, we ended up having five of uh, our players uh, suspended um, for this Friday's game uh, up in Albuquerque. Um, you know, uh, we'll take full responsibility for that. I will, you know, uh, uh, meeting with Mr. Rounds and, and uh, his staff uh, with the video that he has uh, that we were shown this morning. <clears throat> uh, there's no excuse uh, uh, for what those kids uh, ended up doing. Uh, it was, you know, you're talking 16, 17, 18-year-old kids uh, making, uh, uh, doing things right off, uh, um, you know, in, in the spur of the moment. 35 seconds, uh, 48 minutes of a game. Uh, when you're looking at two and a half, three hours of a game, a hard-fought game, and unfortunately, five of our kids uh, will be suspended um, going into uh, Friday night's game. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll take that. There's no questions uh, about that. Uh, and we'll make ends meet at our end as, as a coaching staff and, and get things done. Uh, but it was an unfortunate incident. And uh, uh, like I said, I'll take full responsibility for that. Uh, we'll correct it. We'll look at it. We'll get uh, we'll get better, and uh, it won't happen again. Um, but uh, you know, I apologize from 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 me and my staff, and uh, as a head coach, and and uh, to, uh, with those players, uh, it, it, it's definitely not going to happen again. And now we'll have uh, Coach Bradley from um, Mayfield. Mayfield. <laughs> Isn't that fun to like kind of light him up that way, Coach Bradley? Please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, like Coach Miller said, uh, this is very unfortunate to happen. We uh, should appreciate what we have here in Las Cruces with uh, community support, uh, all the support of all the schools here. And, and uh, there's so much that we have uh, personally as far as our football teams. There's, 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 this is one of the top robberies in the nation. Um, and we we're under we're, we're under the eye of everybody i tell our kids all the time is everybody's watching you whether you're in school you don't go to class you uh you you, you don't you, you do something wrong on the weekends everybody's watching you you have got to do what's right because they're, they're they got your number and we have four kids right now they're going to be suspended for our next game and and they got their number on the field uh they're all good kids they got suspended. They are. Uh, I'm very proud of my team, what they did on the field. Not necessarily proud what they did off the field on, on Friday night. It's unfortunate, once again. Uh, this is not characteristic of our program or the character of our young men. Um, I think we will learn from this. We will get better for this. And it will set example for, for years to come. And we, we don't want it, this to ever, ever happen again in a, in a big time game like we had on Friday night. I want to apologize to everybody out there that had to go through and, and that game at the end of the game and, and what they saw at the end of the game. Like I said, our young men are sorry for what they did. Uh, their, their parents are sorry and, and we will move on from here and, and, uh, and, and hopefully this will never ever happen again. And I do take full responsibility for my team and Coach Miller does also. And we are the head coaches of, of, of two of the top programs in the state. And uh, in, in order for us to, for our kids to keep on growing, we've got to put this behind us and, uh, and move on and, and learn our lesson. 
Um, that's all I got to say. Thank you. Any of the media have questions? So media, I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Yeah. Yes. How much was just the public nature of the scandal to point those people out and say, I mean, mm -hmm. did you feel some some extra pressure to do something like this? Uh, easy answer is no because of the size of crowd, but yes, because of the events that happened. You see, under no case would we condone what went on on the field. Uh, it's a pressurized situation with 20,000 people watching. Uh, the embarrassment part of it is that 20,000 people may have witnessed something that isn't indicative of what these programs are. And that was the point of my comment about the crowd. Uh, our young men are not bad people, hear that. They made bad choices. And that's why discipline then follows. As both coaches said, we don't expect to see this ever happen in football in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Can you talk about what, you know, some of what you guys determined is a suspension and worthy of a suspension, what you guys are looking for on film? So when you look at films and you look at uh, items of confrontation that are assaultive in nature, punches, kicks, Stomps, those are not okay. They're not okay during a game. They're not okay after the game. Where did the film come from? Was it the teams or was it the LCPS students you know, bringing it to the game? I looked at three different films. They came from three different sources, one of which was LCPS uh, TV. Uh, others are other sources that I will not name at this time, but they are authentic films that came out. We, we reached out to the media. We reached out to the public. Uh, we also went to social media streams to look at what had been posted. We reviewed all of those. So we have complete films. We have partial clips, a series of things that go on. The important thing in this kind of investigation is to look from various vantage points and understand the facts of what are happening. And that's, that was why it takes four days to sort out what's happening. Can you release the names of players that were suspended? I won't. Uh, we, first of all, we have a privacy issue as far as disciplinary action on uh, on individuals, and so that precludes me from making any specific comment, nor will the school. Can you say at least if a starter is not on both teams? There are uh, players that are starters on both teams that will not participate. I, you know, I'll be real honest with you. I think probably at game time you'll figure it out. I won't. I d the problem is we, d we do not want to get into identification protocols of who might be players, please. Other questions? Come on. We are looking at other disciplinary actions, both on these players and others that are school-related disciplinary actions. And we're not going to disclose what those are. Those are school functions outside of athletics. Uh, I will tell you this, the athletic standard is a higher standard. And so that's why we're making public announcements about that. Were there other students on the field, not athletes, that, that you guys saw on film along the same lines? There were other students on field. I won't disclose whether we have other discipline on those at this time. That would be inappropriate. Uh, again, the point of this is to discuss our football acumen and also the interest the public has is more in what we're doing with these teams as they move to playoffs. And so that's the purpose of today's conference. Have you ever been in a situation where you had to use the LCPS screen to, to determine something like that? Is, it, is there a precedent for that before? Mm. Is it new time for you? So I, I'm going to brag for a minute. I'm going to brag to the fact that I haven't had to use the LCPS stream for events on fields in Las Cruces in the seven years I've been superintendent. I think that's good news about the quality of our programs and the acumen of our football programs. Other questions? Are you all aware of the dates of the playoff games? We don't need that now. When do you all play again, coaches? We play Friday at 7. Okay. We'll play next week undetermined. And the Friday at 7 is at? At Trisco. At Trisco Community Heritage? Stadium. Or Community, Community Stadium. West. Community West Stadium in Albuquerque. And then questions? Other questions? I want to thank the, the, the uh, media for being here and helping us uh, inform the public of the things that are happening, and I appreciate your questions. Thank you so much. Coaches, thank you.